I started karate around 1958. Uh, it was Mr. Oshima, and uh, karate was very unknown to everybody those days, and very special. Uh, so I was very excited to learn karate, and uh, everything I learned was new, something you don't see in a movie, and it was uh, again something very special and more uh, mysterious thing. And I think it was more uh, the power was more exaggerated because we did lots of breaking techniques and teacher will tell that punch will kill. You know, you think, wow, I was a high school student. Wow, that's going to kill people. Wow. <laughs> was something like that. But not much tournament those days. More and more uh, practical, uh, such as attacking eyeballs, kicking into groins. Uh, things eliminated because of the tournaments were still there. And uh, the free sparring looked very uh, real, uh, as if people were fighting. And uh, we did, to a certain extent, uh, actually hitting each other, which is not done today, unless there is some problem. <laughs> I started with Mr. Nishiyama. Uh, perhaps he came to this country in 1960, somewhere around there. When he came, uh, I would think that's numbers, uh, probably 1960, yes, 60 or 61. Because of this is same Shotokan style, uh, basically it's the same. However, the uh, difference was that Mr. Nishama was more modern. It was explained how to get power, how to get s speed, and what is important to get a better karate. Maybe the stance, maybe relax body tension, uh, such body uh, dynamics were uh, in there more clearly. Although to do the same techniques, uh, it is the same Shotokan style. The time Mr. Nishiyama came to this country in uh, 1960, most of the people were old students of Mr. Oshima. <laughs> yes. Mr. Nishiyama is an excellent instructor. He always focuses on what is most important to do certain techniques karate. He can categorize uh, kata, kumite, and basics and train them separately, then put them together later. And also he did very hard workout, lots of repetition and long hours of trainings. He will not only train your just the body dynamics, but he will teach also with the partner timings mental uh, attitude, and after the karate, and before and after the karate. What should everybody do? Uh, Mr. Nishima started uh, at the first tournament, 1961, if I remember correctly. And that was my first tournament. That was my first uh, competition. I guess for everybody that was the first competition in this country uh, under Mr. Uh, Nishama. Although we did have demonstrations uh, such as Nisei demonstrations, we did have uh, free sparring, which was under what rule? I don't know. Uh, I don't think there was much rules those days. Whoever gets there and punch other person was a winner. Uh, that was the way before Mr. Nishama came. First time I got to go to Japan was 1963, uh, after uh, winning second uh, AAK National. That was the prize award to go to uh, Japan and join the Japanese uh, summer camps with the college and then train uh, in the uh, JKA. And uh, was at uh, instructors. There was uh, Mr. Uh, Kanazawa, Mr. Uh, uh, Eneda, Mr. Shirai, Mr. Yaguchi. Uh, they were all there. Mr. Asai, yes. And after instructors training, uh, Mr. Uh, Asai or Mr. Any any instructor will pick one of us, and he will personally uh, train you for 30 minutes, free sparring and that was very difficult. Uh, Kanazawa-sensei, 
He is transition between Mr. Ogazaki or Mr. Nishiyama's era to Mr. Shirai, Mr. Eneda's era. So he is uh, somewhat classical karate. And then as the karate uh, progress, it become more tournament, sport-like. And Mr. Kanazawa has the both side. His techniques are uh, very uh, classical with uh, the low stance and uh, uh, hard to say in a word. <laughs> there's, a, there's a looks of the classical looks where uh, then it will transition into more a sports-like karate. Uh, that when next era is Mr. Shirai, Mr. Enaeda, uh, become very fast and very easy to score uh, techniques. And they're still very strong, very strong, uh, and more combinations, whatever. Uh, it's watching tournament, they looked a little more different. I, I myself learned from Mr. Nishiyama, who is even before this Mr. Kanazawa time. Therefore, uh, I see this clear difference in the, uh, the change, Mr. Kanazawa, Mr. Shirai, and I thought. And then toward uh, Mr. Oishi, Mr. Tanaka time. Uh, around Mr. Oishi, Mr. Tanaka, the timing aspect comes in. So uh, they will be uh, working with the timing. Uh, Mr. Kanazawa uh, will not have uh, used such a clear uh, timing, but he will just have a strong technique. Mr. Shirai, Mr. Eneda, they have very fast techniques. And later they will trick you with the timings. Uh, and that's just the one aspect, that one aspect. They're all strong, and they're all uh, the great karate. Ogazaki sensei uh, is more uh, classy, and uh, he has beautiful individual techniques, like side thrust kick, front kick, the punches. Uh, he will have a single technique to get you. Uh, he doesn't have to make up combinations. And he's very uh, strong, uh, very uh, rather scary, not when he's facing you, but when he's facing other uh, opponents. You see how destructive he is. Uh, karate today uh, lost in some and the uh, uh, strong techniques. They lost strong stance. The stance will bring a strong techniques, which changes karate. And once the person wants to score in a tournament, depends on tournament uh, rules, uh, people do the easiest way to score. And I think there's some point that the power or destructiveness or effectiveness or technique has lost. Just get there and score. Get there fast and score. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's getting more and more younger people from long distance or some, some case, closer distance, close those close, uh, <clears throat> then score with the small techniques. In early days, karate was also, they imagined the fighting against weapons. They had to stay far without the reach of knives or uh, the ball, then get closer and attack. Uh, now the karate technique is becoming how to win in the tournament. Hey, oh. I age. I And protect she. Sorry, I missed the count. Get. I age she. I some. This way, window side. I age. I trust get can punch. I need. I um. I trust get can punch. I she.
And oh, turn, oh. And one, two, and five. Eight, eight, seven. Eight, seven. Eight, oh, one, two, eight, oh. Karate today is uh, the progress more in the speed, the effectiveness, uh, or the manner to uh, destroy an opponent. Uh, lots of things which is not effective are lost, such as uh, poking with the fingers uh, with the f into the stomach. Such thing is not used anymore. So it's becoming more and more uh, the roundhouse kick, facial punch, more facial techniques uh, in the actual fight. Uh, also, uh, the grabbing each other and throwing down is introduced more. Uh, I think got more influenced by other martial arts. Uh, in general, it became more light and quicker. Yes, timing is another big aspect came in. We have to do is Olympic, uh, the rules, which will eliminate many, uh, the martial art aspect of it. Uh, I think that's one uh, negative part, become more sport-like. Uh, the positive part is karate will be down with more people, uh, therefore it will become more worldwide uh, practiced. More, uh, my advice to students who practice karate is to understand the technique itself, not to just do the movement. Uh, some students have tendency to do a punch, something look like a punch, something look like a kick, but uh, not as effective because person is too worried about the looks of it. Kick high uh, into the face. Uh, that's what you see in the movie. Uh, or uh, using uh, the lighter techniques uh, so because he will not get tired. Uh, or it's more beautiful techniques. So a person should know what the technique is used for and do that correctly and practice the basics. As a human being for myself uh, doing karate, I see more people, I meet more people, and I see good people. And ultimately, I think for the karate is to be good to people. And as long as uh, you, it's good to be strong, and if you can be strong, you can be good to people. <laughs> Always helpful and good to people. And you need to be strong to be that way. <laughs>